I genuinely didn't think I'd be able to, like, catch up to it, though. Like, I was under the impression that it was just too fast for me, but I just caught up with it. Okay, I broke out of the quick ball. You can part flying type, even though you can't fly, right? I believe so, I believe it's fight, fly, flying, fighting. Well, it resists the wicked blow, so... I was about to say don't crit, and then I remembered that that's basically guaranteed. It's also weak to Ice Punch. Yeah, it's definitely. I probably should have used Brick Break. High roll critical hit. Good job, Urshifu. You're probably dead, though, because that's a reversal from the... Yeah. Oh, no, you're not dead. Congratulations. You get to live for one more turn while I just throw dust balls and pretend like everything's okay. So, how are you going to feel like later on they should they state that the um, Golovian legendaries aren't actually, um, you know, legendaries? They're not? They're not the legendary birds. Well, what are they? What are we um, when you catch them, you'll, uh, you'll, and you read the Pokedex, it makes it, it makes it state that it's very unclear if these are actually regional variants of the, um, of the, the trio, or they're just being caught up because they look like them. That sounds like it kind of makes sense, but also like that, the feeling when your signature move doesn't affect your opposing Pokemon. Get cut. You got to me, Zapdos. You got to me. Do you think, like, my Marowak is just laughing at this thing, trying to thunderous kick it, and just missing desperately? Because I would be. If I was the Marowak. Watching my trainer slowly go insane because of legendary Pokemon. So we got if you break out of this. Sad part is knowing that's going to be the easiest one to catch, because the other two, I have no idea what they do. Well, um, all the Kuna, all you have to do is kind of just chase it to where it um, splits into three and find the real one. Oh, well, I know. I know about Articuno because I saw a streamer get it. I'm going to name you... Uh... Fine, I'll be generic and name you Chocobo and come up with an actually good name for you later. Because I can't be asked right now. I, I'm being serious. I usually just go first thing that pops in my mind or a generic name, and it sticks. I don't care. Like, well, okay. One, I, I kind of just did it because I never. I didn't... All I'm saying, Zapdos, is be grateful. At least you're not one of the three Pokemon I named Doodoo Butt. Because I named three Pokemon doo doo it's, it's one of those things of, um, one of the reasons was, um, because I didn't have the option of being, having infinite renames. But hasn't that always been a thing? No. You've always had to have, um, hearts cast to re nickname your Pokemon. That's relearning. Yeah. Are you just under the impression that you needed a hard scale this entire time? Yes.
Alright, so the good thing about the Can I say something? Is it sad that I think um, gale shiny Galevi Meowth looks better than regular Galevi Meowth? I mean shiny... Alolan. I meant to say Alolan. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say the shinies typically look better, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm profiting from these or not. I should probably participate in the Galarian Star Tournament again. Not the Galarian Star Tournament, whatever the fuck it's called. The rematches, the regular rematches. I haven't unlocked the Star Tournament yet. I'm sorry. Because then I could get a hundred Pokeballs and just sell those. Or do raids again so I can get more walks. Honestly, I didn't That's care. I didn't care because I like Totoro. I have more of a grudge against Berserker for defeating Escavalier and Excelgore and Metromania than I do a grudge against it because it exists. It's one of those things, like, I don't understand why people are like, oh, Meowth doesn't deserve three um, regional variants. Because there are other Pokemon I could get them. Basically, it's why people hate Mega Autono. Which I still think is like a bit much. <laughs> it's like I'm sorry. It's like but because that slot could have gone to another Pokemon, and I'm like, but Mecha I don't know looks nice. And it's actually decently good. <laughs> I don't know what you people want from Game Freak. Listen, I'm sorry they didn't give Hacks or a Mega, but like. <laughs> So, you said it loops, does that mean if I just sit here against the rock, does Moltres will just come here because it was when I flew to the island originally? Yes. Well, actually, there's like, there has to be like a certain area where you can, where it kind of, like, I know like, it flies over the bridge at one point where you can whistle at it. Which bridge? There are like seven. Stand here then. Can I ring at it? Because <laughs> I find that much more amusing. <laughs> no, you have to whistle at it, I'm sorry. Boo! Oh. This game is I know, I'm discriminatory against bells. You can't do it in front of the Registeel. See, here's the thing about the Registeel Temple. You, if bells were allowed, I, I probably would have just gotten in there by accident, because when I get frustrated at something, I just kind of start spamming the whistle, because I, th the, the bell button, because I think it's funny, and it's not, but I do it anyway. <sighs> this is taking too long. Where the fuck is this bird? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, it, it takes a little bit, like, it's not, it's not quick, but it's not that quick. Monstrous! Monstrous! It flew away. <laughs> Maybe this time I should be more calm. Okay, so how exactly do I want to whistle at this thing? Do I just want to, like, go under it and whistle at it, or...? Pretty much, you have to be, like, under its shadow and whistle at it. It'll stop and kind of bat swoop down and battle you. I believe. Jigglypuff, get away from me. Thank you. Got it. Slover, for the love of God, do not kill this thing. This was hell to encounter. I'm sorry, I know you love to crit things, but don't crit this. This is the one thing you're not allowed to crit. Slowbro just being like. Slowbro just being like. And it's just like, what? 
Yeah. This is like, what? <laughs> Be more specific, please. Kretzen kills it. How do you what what is when does Berserk activate? Is it when I crit it? When it activates. Oh, it's just completely ran. I thought it was when you hit it with the super effective move. Berserk? Yeah. Okay, so something that I don't like about Moltres is when it first came out, I thought that the fire pattern on its wings was actually just for show and it wasn't actually fire. And I held on to that because I thought it because I thought it was cooler because it's no longer a fire type. And it's just not. And it's kind of disappointing. Also the back of its head looks really odd. Just like it might just be the 3D model, but the back of its head looks okay, kind of odd. It is, uh, his intakes are berserk. This is the Pokemon's special attack when hit when it takes a hit that causes HP to become half or less. Ah, okay. So it's kind of like a salad berry, but for special attack. Which I know that kind of berry actually exists, but I can't be asked to remember its name because no one uses it. <laughs> Salad berries are the only ones that are actually useful because they're good for facades, not facade, for flail sets. What is this? Oh god! You lived on affection. My baby. Oop, hold on. Nice theme though, I will say. And I just realized the bowl was on the camera, so enjoy that. Oh my. <sighs> Why do you have nasty plot? Who did this? Who allowed this? I can't even use my tactic of just sending the ghost type this time because the ghost type will get annihilated. Oh god, they're gonna drop like flies. I think maybe the ranches can't kill it. I don't want to take the risk going for this to go awry. Especially because Leaf Blade has a high critical hit ratio. Alright, we got the ball to shake, that's good. Fiery Wrath. It's not super effective. But it is plus six. <laughs> Alright. Urshifu resists Fiery Wrath, and it's weak to Hurricane, but it can dodge Hurricane. Something that I don't like about the moves is they all resemble their old forms, but they're not, like, that old type anymore. That's why I don't think they should have been flying type. I think they should have been their element, plus whatever type they wanted to give them. I know they're supposed to, like, share a typing, but it's just, it doesn't work. It, it just doesn't work. Damn it. There we go, tank it. It kind of looks like a Persona transformation when it just like hovers over Urshifu's body. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch, Nasty Plot, Fiery Wrath, Hurricane. Damn it, they're dead. 
This is the best hope we had. Alright. When I get down to Sandomer and Noga, I'm probably gonna revive, uh... Urshifu and... someone else. I just- I don't know anyone who I can use against it that won't kill it. The irony is I kinda wish Slowbro got a crit on its last move. Even though I was telling it not to crit. Mm. And I feel like, I feel like Shadow Ball could reduce it to... Oh, he actually worked. Catching drums doing fuck all, by the way. Oh, you hit Hurricane just casually? Am I actually in tears because my Blastoise lived a fiery wrath? Oh my god. How am I not a Pisces? Like, how? How, how has this not happened yet? The thing I told myself is I knew I was in early birth because I don't fit the requirements to be a Libra, not realizing that I do fit the requirements to be a Libra, and I just wasn't reading the right horoscope descriptions. Because of fucking Persona, every time a Pokemon dodges a move, I can't not picture them, like, jumping out of the way or something. You did a good job, Cannon. Alright, I need to revive team members now. So we know Cannon can tank a Fiery Wrath. Are you serious? We know... Derp can take a fiery wrath. You, you really tried sand slash. We know Angie can take a fire draft. Alright. Maybe a Shadow Bone? I guess I'm over now because I'm definitely dead because of this. Curse Body? Damn it. You're weak to fire your wrath, aren't you? It's not even shaking. <laughs> okay, I lied. Derp can't take a fire wrath. <laughs> This is actually like a fight for my life. Fuck. Do I revive? None of them can live anything. Alright, you can tank that. There's no point in reviving Sandslash or Prayer, because both of them will die in like two hits. Do 
Do not see the love with which I treat my Pokemon. I have revived almost all of them. Get in the ball. I still haven't even caught Terrakion, which is something that I do not realize. <laughs> oh, I saved the video by accident. Oopsies. I'm scared now. I'm scared that I pp stalled it. Oh my god. Why won't you just get in? Why are you being so difficult? Do you want to die that badly? It actually totally is to death. You're joking. <sighs> Oops. So, that was fun. Uh, I'm gonna end it here, because... We're at 20 minutes, and yeah. Uh, the guy I was talking to will be back next episode. I don't know how far in the. I'll probably just start. I don't know.